What's up, guys? Um, some people have been asking me about my the rigs that I do um, for the cartoons that I've been making, like those little short fantasy fight card ones. So I thought I would uh, go through a rig with you, just like to show you like what's up. And I'll probably do some more videos, like focusing down on like more uh, detailed things, like uh, eyes and mouths and whatnot. Um, start off like this is Kyla. She's the rig for my fantasy fight card cartoon i haven't animated her yet but um she's pretty much all rigged up um so kind of start off with like a like a drawing like this is what the character's gonna look like whatever um and i'll like color it too uh sometimes uh, this time i just kind of like i knew the colors i was going to use already so um i just uh went went for it so basically as you clean her up you break her into pieces right so each one of these little pieces is a drawing of its own see and i can show you here like so uh this is like that one foot drawing and then these are all the pieces that go into that drawing to make it work with the rest of the the rig um so like everything parents up right so legs parent up and then to two legs lower body full body and the same thing for here arm two arms upper body full upper body and then this um, the heads are a lot more complicated of a thing so uh, there's a lot going on in here yeah I see the head is a little bit more and also like all these things have their own groups of their own so like an eye has its own like basically it's its own like mini rig right same for the mouth um, the mouth has all the drawings you need to do all her talking right happy and uh, sad mouths if you need like fancy mouths or you're doing like a custom expression or something you would just basically just draw your own uh keeping in mind like the how the drawings are made right so like you go in and every layer has like a piece of the mouth in it right and then all those pieces are broken into all these different drawings and then you know cut and made so to fit here so a cool thing about the mouth though is um the way it the hierarchy works so if, no matter where you click it always parents up to here and then to the full mouth but uh the, the reason you do it to here is because whenever you move the mouth around you don't want the teeth to go anywhere um so you set the teeth and then you can like move your mouth around or whatever you know um but because uh, if you think about it like inside your head you're your mouth, your teeth, your top teeth don't move, right? It's all your jaw and your tongue and your lower teeth. I don't usually, for some reason, um, my, type, my type of cartoons don't usually have lower teeth. Like, if you need it, you can draw it in, but really the only time you ever even see them is when you do like this, and then that's just like a, a drawing, right? Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so we got her face here. Uh, so it parents up to her face, so you can, like, change angles, like look up and down kind of deal. Like, uh, yeah right um there are deformers on a lot of things so like it's not heavy with the deformers uh sometimes rigs they'll deform literally everything and i'm only deforming most things the deformer is basically a doohickey that lets you change the shape of an object without actually redrawing it right so we have this one type which is called an envelope deformer that i use and it'll let you like change the shape of something pretty drastically right yeah um, and then there's like a spline deformer, which is like a line that you can use and it'll like let you change the shape of a line, right? So I use both and they're both super useful because this way I don't have to redraw stuff, right? Other things that I do redraw a lot of are hands. So I'll start and I'll just like draw a basic hand. And then as I pose out, I'll uh, add hands to that library and then I'll save the rig up. So then the next time I use this rig, it'll have more and more hands in it. Um, there's a lot of features in these rigs where so like say for example see her her, her her sleeve right so usually what you would do is you would um get a drawing and it would just be like the whole sleeve and this little cuff would be drawn inside it but then um instead i made it so that the sleeve inside is a drawing right so now you can like manipulate it as you manipulate other stuff. It's uh, just makes things a little bit easier again, not having to redraw things so much. Um, everything has everything where you want like the lines and things to disappear. You can kind of see like uh, this line here, right? It, it 
disappears into that other stuff. Oh, I can't even see. Um, but that's basically it's just this thing called auto patch, and all the drawing, all it is, is like lines, cutting lines, or getting cut by like the fill, right? So all the drawings are actually broken into different layers as well. So um, if you go into like her leg, for example, it has like a line art layer and a color art layer, and that's basically it's just so that when we move it around with with the other part of her leg that the lines get cut so that they look nice and smooth places where i don't usually add deformers upper arms and upper legs um because if i'm going to be deforming it right like if there's like a really extreme arm i want right and it's got to be like perfectly straight or whatnot the less pieces you use the better so a lot of times i'll just go like this and i'll uh disappear the, the the upper arm and I'll just take these pieces or I'll just take these pieces boop, right and then I'll just create it as one line and then this way it just you know it just creates like a cleaner uh, line like you don't have to worry about bulges and weird stuff happening right you can just um, Right, so now like the arm is there and it looks normal and it looks right but you don't have to worry about the risk of like say if I did it and I was gonna try and do that with two pieces like the more pieces you use the more likely it is that you'll get like you know something weird happening right so like oh look there's a big bump right there which could have been avoided if you just did it like that all right anyway so I mean that's pr pretty much it um, I is the same idea right we got all like the like the blinking eye and then like a squinty eye and then like a down UI and then like the pupil is reverse cut inside the the color art of the eye light of the, of the eyeball so that it doesn't go outside like if I want it to go outside I can do it specifically but otherwise it should just stay in there right um, her eyebrow has a deformer on it right and it also has a cutter so that if I want to like do something like this, it will disappear the eyeball like past, right? So we go look and there's the curve and then there's the deformer and here's the eyebrow. So inside the actual drawing of the eyebrow, we have like this invisible green thing. It doesn't show up in the render, but what it does do is it cuts the actual eye itself. Um, if it wasn't there, it would kind of look like this. Whoop. Yeah, so it would just make a lot more work for me. So I like to put those in there. Um, yeah, the hair, you know, so the hair is, has like, can parent up to grab the whole thing. She has a full skull, so if I wanted to, I could make her bald, which would be kind of funny. Um, okay, she's got deformers on all her, like, important pieces. Like, this one doesn't really need a deformer because I'm just going to squash and stretch it and move it around. But, like, these hair pieces... Um, say her hair is blowing in the wind or I want to add a little bit of extra secondary I have deformers uh, attached right just so that I can get whatever shape I need um, this one here is kind of a cool one her bang it has a deformer but also it's cut into the mass of her hair so if, if for some reason it needs to go like to the edge it won't go outside her hair right like it's an inside thing um, this one is just like um, another envelope deformer right so I can change the shape of it if I want to um, yeah see it even changes the shape of the uh, okay, I can't really deform these too far but like it goes pretty good like I can do quite a bit with it uh, what else do we got here that's pretty cool and I think that's pretty much it yeah so just it's pretty like it's like as far as rigs go, it's not overly complicated, but it's versatile enough that I can pretty much do whatever I need with it. And I mean, you guys have seen the animation I've come out with these things, so I think it's coming up pretty good. Um, yeah, so I think like the next time I do a video, maybe I'll do like an eye, you know, like I'll rig up a whole eye or like a mouth or like maybe even I'll do some like um, simple animation stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.